Hello everyone, Chris Tisdell here. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on a beginner's guide to calculus. Now, in previous videos, we talked about differentiation and, and uh, derivatives and things like this. In this video, we're going to look at the idea of implicit differentiation. So I'll give you a, a little um, introduction to that and we'll do a basic example. Okay, so the level for this video is reasonably low. Okay, all right. So where are we going? Well, there are some situations where this type of simple function simply aren't appropriate or aren't general enough or do not work. Okay, and implicit equations give us a framework where this type of simplicity just, just isn't possible. Okay, so what is a, an implicit equation? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, if you have a look down here, this is the general form of an implicit equation. Okay, so um, we, we make a few assumptions there. We're assuming that y is a function of x in this case, and that, that the f is suitably smooth, if you like, so that we can um, differentiate everything and apply the, the, the chain rule. Um, but let me give you an example, right? So um, an example might be something like uh, f of x comma y equals x squared plus y squared minus one equals zero. Okay, that's an example of an implicit equation. Uh, what about another one? Well, um, x cubed plus, uh, let's say, uh, oh, let, let's do something simple, y squared equals zero, okay? All right, so there are a couple of basic examples. All right, so because we're looking at calculus here, we would like to have some idea of how to compute a derivative. So the bottom two lines are concerned with this. So the derivative dy dx can be computed via the chain rule. And we've looked at those in other videos, right? And then all you do is you make a rearrangement. Okay, so let's um, do a basic example and then we can um, uh, have a little discussion and see how these sort of these things um, work. Okay, so you can see in this example, let me just get it right. This is your big F of X. Okay, so in this example, this is our big F of X comma Y, sorry. All right, and we're asked to compute the derivative Okay, so how do we do it? Well, it says the derivative dy dx can be computed via the chain rule and then a rearrangement. All right, so let's step through it and see um, how, we, how we do this. All right, so the um, basic idea is to differentiate both sides. Okay, so Let's differentiate both sides and we will distribute that differential or uh, the derivative here, ddx, throughout this operator. You can see on the right hand side that the derivative of zero is just zero. And I can just sort of go through here and go, right, I'm going to distribute that, 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 and that, okay? All right, so let's continue that process. Okay, so what's the derivative of uh, negative x cubed? Well, it's going to be something like 3x squared. So that one's easy to calculate. Okay, 
but it's not so easy and the derivative of 4x is going to be 4 but it's not so easy to differentiate these two things because we're differentiating with respect to x but we've got y's here okay so what we can do is use the chain rule okay so remember that um, from the chain rule we can write for example the the, the first expression the first term in the in the following in the follow or actually not the first term we'll do the second term because the the first term is just two times dy dx so that's easy okay so th here's the problem so we can write it like this okay so let me stop there can you see what i've done here is i've changed the ddx to dy dx times d dy and you can kind of justify that by covering up the dy's and saying oh I've just got a d dx there which is exactly the same thing as I had above so these sort of um, derivatives and operators kind of work a bit like fractions although they're, they're, they're not fractions okay so so now what this means is that I can differentiate y squared with respect to y so I'll get 2y okay so um, let's keep on going then so this is going to be negative 3x squared. This is going to be positive 4, and I get this. Okay, so the last thing I want to do, so is, so here I've used chain rule. All right, the last thing I want to do um, is compute this derivative and then form um, the common terms of the derivatives and then rearrange, okay? So we have, um, this is going to become 2y. So, okay, we've got a common factor of dy dx there. I can move these guys to the other side. So let's um, do that. I've got a common factor of 2y, actually, but that's fine. Uh, of 2, but that's fine. So that's going to go to the other side. That's going to go to the other side. And so we can now just make dy dx the subject by dividing this out here. Hence... this is our expression so you can see that the derivative in this example actually has x's and y's in it which is interesting okay but for these kinds of problems the the idea is usually the same you start with some implicit equation and you you assume that y is a function of x and you can compute the derivatives and apply the chain rule you differentiate both sides you distribute the differential operator you meet some sort of function of y where you apply the chain rule. You, you apply the chain rule and then you group the um, dy dx's together and simplify. Okay, so that's a very simple example. Okay, well, I'll be doing a few more examples, a few more challenging examples, but this is a basic introduction. If you have any comments, any questions, I'd love to hear them. You can put them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.